Hey, what's up? I'm Terry from Evanescence, and you're watching Toasted. Could you please introduce yourself? What's up? Terry from Evanescence. How are you doing? Good. Finally, you're in Holland again? Long time ago? Actually, this is my first time. Yeah? Yeah. The whole new band and stuff. Uh, and uh, Yeah, new lineup and everything. Exactly, yeah. So, in, you know, in 2003, uh, Fallen came out, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Huge record, 14 million copies sold. Oh my god. And, yeah, and now a new record, and again, success. How can you, how, how did it all win? How did it all I go? I don't know. We're praying to the right God or something. I don't know. Yeah, probably, yeah. Which one is that? <laughs> all of them. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. I mean, just, you know, try to originate ourselves again on this record and do something different. I guess it's working. Yeah, exactly. Um, how did you uh, How did you all meet? How did you meet Amy, for instance? Um, I, I was playing another group that was called Cold from Jacksonville, Florida, in the states. And um, Cold and Evanescence were on tour together. And when Ben left, they asked if I'd come fill in. And I was having my own problems with the band I was in, and and came out and started filling in on some of the shows for the following tour. And we just had a really good time, and it all worked out. That worked out, and also songwriting uh, worked out, and that's one of the most important things in making music, isn't it? Were you glad when you found her as a good writing partner? Yeah, I think like we just had a good connection, just from doing the touring, got along really well, had a lot of the same influences and stuff like that, and from there it went to writing, and it just worked from the first song, we even made it on the record. Snow White Queen was the first song we wrote, and. Which at the time, you know, we never would have thought it would make it on the record. It was just the first song. But even, I guess we were on the right track, you know. How did it start writing? Is it just you and her together and then writing and sitting at home uh, with a bottle of wine? Pretty much. And um, we just kind of set up a little Pro Tool studio at our house in L.A. And um, just started throwing around ideas and work started from there, you know. And just finished a record and came out pretty cool, I think. Mm. Yeah, okay, but it was a lot of struggle and a lot of uh, frustrations and a lot of also negative things because, you know, relationship uh, went out with uh, Amy Lee. You had a stroke. Yeah. And that's how are you doing now? I'm good. I still have paralysis in my left arm, but we have two guitar players, so John can, help. Yeah, John can help me on the tour because it was fine in the studio because I finished all the tracks on a Saturday and had the stroke on a Monday, so I got to finish all my guitar tracks, so okay. I was good. But um, I'm fine, you know, getting by. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Man. And now on the road for yeah. the, for the first. Is it exciting for you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's awesome. What's the, what's been the best experience this year already? Um, just the crowds. The fans have just been amazing, and they're really into you guys. Yeah, it's like during the show they're louder than us sometimes. It's really cool. Lyric-wise, um, it's very personal, written, uh, Call Me When You're Sober, Lithium. A lot of songs are very, very personal on what uh, Amy Lee had um, been through. Um, yeah. How how was it working with her by on that moment, writing it? Was it heavy? Um, I mean, it was basically any frustration either one of us had, we put it towards the music. So I think that was her outlet for as far as lyrics go and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Her own therapy for herself, you know. Have you been to Japan already? Not yet, not on this tour. You're going? We went on the fall-on tour. How's it been now? Is it more tight? Did you rehearse a lot? And how, how's, Is it good? Um, we had about three weeks of pre-production before we started the tour. And got, a, got I had to get myself back into playing because my hand's still a little slow, you know. Mm. And we had to get our new bass player broken, which he's been an awesome addition. And everything's been really cool. And the tour is basically just a... This tour right now we're on is a good thing just for us to get back into the groove of things because it's been so what three years since we were touring so it's been awesome DJ Lethal from uh, Limbiscuit is also on it yeah. he did some, some some soundscapes on it yeah he did a, all the loops and the programming and all that stuff he he was a friend of mine I've known him for shoot I don't know years back when I used to play in Biscuit a long time ago and um and we had a lot of the hip-hop elements on a lot of the stuff I mean, Amy, were, Amy was, we were working when we were writing, doing it with um, the computer and the Pro Tools and just kind of downloading loops, which it wasn't really as original. So we we knew the whole time while we were writing, after we recorded, we want somebody to come in and 
do it the right way. And he was my first suggestion. We happened to be out looking for studios in L.A. and ran into him. I was like, dude, what's up? You know, Want to do something for us? Yeah, and he was all over it, so he killed it. Knocked it out in like a week. He's the man. He's good. Yeah, yeah he's really good. How is Lemisca doing, by the way? I don't know. Mm. I think they might be done. I, I don't know, though. I have no idea. No. Can we expect you back soon here in Holland? Yeah, I think so. Like ne We're going to take off December and do a few shows in the States, and... And then January start up with a big production tour. We got a lot of really cool ideas for the tour, like big Just, lightning and stuff, and yeah, a big you know, show, fire and dragons and shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so this tour right here is just basically getting us back in the swing of things and give the crowd something cool, the fans that is something cool, that smaller vibe instead yeah. of this big arena and shit. So, Do you prefer this or prefer be um, bigger ones? I like it. I like them both. They both got their cool things about it. I just I remember when I was a kid going to a show, seeing this big stage and lights. That's cool. It was always cool, you know. But it seems like nowadays a lot, a lot of people like the smaller shows, so it's cool to give them that too. It's from the festivals, 2007 probably? Um, I'd imagine so, yeah. Not sure. As, yeah, it's a little ways off right now, but as of now, we're, we start back up in January in Canada and head to Japan and Australia and New Zealand, and then back to the states for some more stuff and then i'm sure come back over here after that next summer probably for the festivals i would think you know nothing's in writing yet but cool. i'm sure no. are you off for christmas or are you working no we're actually going to be off for christmas cool. i have to take it a little easy you know? i wish you all the best and good luck thank for tonight much. i appreciate it cool. thank you all for coming out